G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. My name's Cody and today I'm here to give you my final regular season round tips of 2024. Of course, I'm talking about round 27 along with the round 7 NRLW tips. Can we believe it? We are in the last round of 2024. It's gone too quick. One season it's been has its highs, has its lows and in between but what a what a season it has been for this year obviously not for my team obviously but we'll get to it when we get to my team anyway for the nrlw um i managed to get three out of five last week not too bad as for the men's one i don't want to say it but i got two out of eight i'm not kidding only two out of eight i got the cowboys beating them storm and Knights no, destroying the Titans. Every other team, with the exception of mine, were the favourites to win and they lost. I mean, we'll get to the other teams when we get to them, but what a shocking round of tips was last week, honestly. But let's hope we can hopefully get a perfect round, hopefully, this week. for them. I haven't had a perfect round this year. The best I've done was six this year. Let's hope we can get a perfect round, but... Anyways guys, before we get into the video, but if you guys are new around here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and turn on those bell notifications when our video gets posted. We are also less than 20 subscribers away from reaching 1700. If we can reach that before the start of the finals, that would be really pre appreciated guys. Thank you all for an amazing 2024 as well, but without further ado, we'll get into my NRLW tips first before we get into the men's. So, with NRLW this week, round seven, they've only got three more rounds to go until the, their regular season's done. And then they got their finals of a rep, um, of a rep Robin round format of top four. But let's get into these games this week. Cowboys vs West Tigers from Queensland Country Bank. Cowboys 13 plus. Dragons vs Raiders. We'll go, hmm, we'll go Dragons to win this one. Sharks vs Roosters. We'll go Sharks to win 1-12. Dragons 1-12 as well. Eels first Titans. We're going to go Titans for only plus here. And Knights Broncos. Ooh, this one's going to be a tough one. We're going to go Knights 1-12. So, so just a quick recap. So Cowboys, Dragons, Sharks, Titans, Knights. Four out of five other home teams for this one. I've tipped, so let's hope we do well for this one. All right. All right, now let's get into the round 27 tips, the final round of the regular season. First game kicking off on Thursday from 7.50 p.m. at Suncorp Stadium. We have another qualifying final rematch from last year. We have the 12th place Brisbane Broncos taking place against the 2024 minor premiers, the Melbourne Storm. Now, the Storm last week... They had 11 of their 13 players out after they were rested. And they lost to the Cowboys in a high-scoring fair. Not too bad for their B-level side, but they still lost 38-30 to the Cowboys at Queensland Country Bank last Thursday. As for Brisbane, well, they got, they got destroyed by the Dolphins. And the result I did not expect to see after they've had a good, good run since they lost a few games in a row. They were beaten by the Dolphins, 40 points to 6. Dolphins finally getting a win over them, which was surprising to see, but Broncos, top 8 chances, done and dusted. So at least Brisbane are not making the 8 this year, after they made the grand final last year, and this is where they are now. One of the, bigger, one of the biggest flops of 2024, no doubt. Unbelievable. Well... Uh, Anyway, um, Storm are the favourites at $1.43. And Broncos are outsiders at $2.86. In the past 10 games between the two, Melbourne have absolutely dominated Brisbane. They have won 9 of the last 10 games. Melbourne have also won 14 games in a row between 2017 and 2023. They've won 15 of the last 16 games against Brisbane, which is... Which is not, which is not right for Brisbane, but Brisbane's only win 
recently against the Storm was in the qualifying final last year, where they won 26 0 against the Storm, breaking that 14 game losing streak against the Storm. But look where it is now. But obviously, this game, it's the last round. I expect Melbourne will get all their players or majority of their players back for this one. Melbourne 13 plus. Storm the win by 20. Score line, we're going to go 38 18. I don't feel sorry for these Broncos. They should have made the top eight this year. It's their own fault. Even Walter said they were making the top eight back in round 24 or 5. Look what happened now. You jinxed it. Melbourne, 13 plus. All right, moving on to Friday night. First of our two games kicking off at 6 p.m. from Campbelltown Sports Stadium. We have the Spoon Bowl game. Yes, we have a Spoon Bowl game to finish off 2024. And the loser of this game will claim the 2024 Wooden Spoon. And of course, we have the 17th place West Tigers. Against the 16th place, Parramatta Eels. The Tigers coming off their third and final bye. Winning winning their last two games against the Rabbitohs. And the week before against Manly. Winning 34-26 after an impressive comeback. Winning, come back down from 16 0 to win 34-26. Must say the Tigers, despite where they are at the moment. They've been very impressive um, f throughout this year when they've got the opportunity. But they've had their moments throughout 2024 and the last few rounds they've been outstanding. As for Parramatta, well, Parramatta were very lucky. Very lucky to win against the Dragons. They held them to 44-12 in the, within the last 20 to 15 minutes. Then Dragons out of nowhere sc scored up to 40 points and or 28 points and that just fell short. Eels had conceded the most amount of points in rugby league history and still won somehow. That was a great full game. That was a straight, that was a shit game. Considering themselves lucky they won that, 44-40. At the moment, Eels are the favourites at $1.64. The West Tigers are $2.27. In the past 10 games between the two, Eels have won 8 of the last 10. However, the last time these two met, which was on Easter Monday, at Combank, Tigers won 17 points to 16 in a good game. Gufferson missed a, two, missed a penalty goal, I believe it was, and he just rushed it and he missed it, or Moses won them two. But Tigers won that game. But Tigers have only won three of the last 11 games against the Eagles, which is not really good. Also... This is Eels' first time they're playing at Campbelltown in 12 years. Last time they played at Campbelltown against the Tigers in 2012. And the West Tigers won that 51-26. And if we want to go back further, this will be the second time since the Tigers came into the comp that they're playing at Campbelltown. The only other time was in 2012. And before that, Parramatta last played at Campbelltown in 1999 against the Magpies. So... Talk about another team who hasn't played at Campbelltown in a long time. Just like the Rabbits in 25 years. That's nuts. I guess teams just don't want to play at Campbelltown. <laughs> anyway, getting off topic here. So, for my tip. Who gets the, who wins? Who gets the wooden spoon of 2024? I have thought this through. Now, as much as I hate the Tigers after what had happened in round 24. I reckon they're going to win this one. Tigers to win by 10. Scoreline, it's not going to be pretty. I'm going to go 24-14. Try scorers. We will go... We'll go Charlie Staines for the Tigers. In Eels, we'll go Clint Gufferson. So, Eels will get the spoon in 2024. Their first wooden spoon since 2018. I think the Tigers will win this one. I know their Campbelltown record's not good at the moment, but... They've been impressive in the last few games, and I think they're just due not for another one spoon. They've already won two in a row in the last two years. I think it's time for someone else to win it. Tigers to win by 10. Let's go, Tigers. All right. 
Now we move on to the main event of Friday night at 8 p.m. Kicking from a core stadium for our final regular home season and the final Rabbitohs game I will be attending this year. Of course, we have the most intense, the most brutal, the most hatred towards both teams. Of course, I'm talking about the biggest rivalry in rugby league history in Australia since 1908. We have the biggest rivalry, the arch nemesis of us, of ours. I'm t of course, I'm talking about the 15th place, my boys, South Sydney Rabbitohs, against the third place, Sydney Scums, Sydney Sooks, Sydney Scumbags, the Sydney Roosters, who are in third place. Now, last week, we lost to the Panthers. That was expected, but Tyrone Munro scored a double after what had happened to his mother, his uncle. What a stressful a uh, few days it was for him, but for him to go out there, score a double against the three paid premiers, even though we got destroyed, was amazing. Kudos to Tyrell Munro. Shout out to him. He had an, an amazing moment in his career. And I'm glad I was there to witness it. And obviously we got beaten 34-12, but I didn't really care about the result. It was all about Tyrell Munro last week. And what a job he did last week. And now, as for the Roosters... They lost to the Raiders. So, Raiders have beaten two top four teams now. And we'll get to the Raiders um, shortly. But, Roosters lost 14-12. They scored a try before full time. And Kiri was under pressure. He rushed the goal and he missed. Leading to the Raiders winning 14-12. And also, as much as I don't like to um, go give him sympathy or whatever... Unfortunately, they do have three big injuries, which is really unfortunate. Victor Rantley is confirmed to be an AC joint injury, and he's out for the seat. He's believed to be out. Brandon Smith and... Brandon Smith and Sam Walker have torn their ACL, so they really unfortunate. All the best to both of them in a speedy recovery. So they're going to be out for quite a while at the start of next year. All the best to them, but... Roosters have lost quite a few players with big injuries in last week's loss. Now, at the moment, Roosters are the favourites at $1.31, which is that, that's to be expected. Rabbitohs were at $3.47. In the past 10 games between the two, it has been five games apiece. Roosters have won four of the last five, however. Our last win against the Roosters... Was the 2022 Elimination Final 7 Sinbin Saga Sunday? We won that 30 points to 14. We have lost the last three games against the Roosters, um, especially at the start of the year. We got we got flogged by the Roosters 48 6 at Alliance back in round three. And that was one of our biggest losses this year. And no doubt this encounter is going to be just as brutal as the first one. Now, given obviously our how our season's been, everyone will ride us off, and that's fine. But for this game, I don't really give a fucking rat's ass. It's all about the rivalry. Even the boys lose, it's all going to be about the game, about the rivalry. Let's finish this on a high note, rabbits. Come on, boys. At least be up for this game. I know we've had a long year, but let's be up for this one. Rabbitohs, fun a plus. By 16, scoreline, 28-12. Try scorers for both. We will go Daniel, Daniel Tupo. Tyrell Mumro, and also for another Rabbitohs try scorer. In their final game, let's go Damien Cook and Thomas Burgess. Yes, it's their final game. Thomas Burgess, part of our 2014 winning squad, is playing his last game. And so is Damien Cook, who's going to the Dragons. And Thomas Burgess is going back to England. What a career for both of them at the club. But anyways, rabbits to win. Fern plus. Let's go, boys. All right. Now we move on to Super Saturday. First of three games kicking off at 3 p.m. We have the 11th place, Sir George, sorry, 10th place, Sir George Illawarra Dragons. Take a place against the 11th place, Canberra Raiders. Last week... The Dragons, well, 
they 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 have scored the most amount of points in a losing side in rugby league history since 1908. They lost 44-40. They were down 44-12 against Parramatta. Then in the last 15 to 20 minutes, they scored 28 unanswered points and lost. And Shane Flanagan at press conference, I wouldn't, didn't blame him. He was only there for like 10, 10 to 30, 10, 20, 30 seconds. And he's like, no, I'm not very happy with the boys. And I don't blame him, but fucking hell. The way the Dragons go out like that and they concede 40 just to fall short. That's not good enough. No excuses. What a way for their chances to make the eight, which they were in the top eight for a few times this year. Now they can't make it now. Such a disgraceful performance by Sir George. That's for Canberra. They beat two top four teams in a row now. Impressive win, even though holding them off with 12 men on the field um, by eight points, which is really impressive. 14-12 they won against the Roosters. Very impressive. Just unfortunate they cannot make the A unless, unless Dolphins Knights go in a draw. But we know that's not going to happen. And then Raiders win against the Dragons. So, yeah, Knights Dolphins to go in the draw. But I don't see that happening. It's really unfortunate, but a good way for Canberra to end their season. Now, at the moment, the favourites are somehow the Dragons at a dollar sixty-two. Oh yeah, this place, this game's from Cogra as well, by the way. And Canberra at two dollars thirty. I think that should be the other way around, honestly. The way Dragons played last week in the past ten games between the two, Canberra have won seven of the last ten, which includes winning the last three games in a row, and winning four of the last five. Last time Dragons won against Canberra was in 2022 when they won 12 points to 10. Also, this will be the Raiders' first trip up to to Conger Oval against the Dragons for the first time since 2016. They lost that one 16-12. You, you want to go back to 2004, the last time they won at at Conger against the Dragons, they won that one to 21 points to 12. And that was 20 fucking years ago. And they've always played at Wynn Stadium. As obviously, Wollongong is closer to Canberra than it is to Sydney, obviously. But one of the rare times that Canberra are going to Cogra, which is shocking. But anyways, for this game, Canberra to win 1-12. to Raiders to win by 8. Scoreline, we're going to go 28-20. Try scorers for both, try Tyrell Sloan, and for Raiders we will go, let's go Adam Cook to score, I know that's a bit of a bold one, but I reckon he'll go over and score, so fortunately the Raiders season is over, but we can only hope to pray there could be a draw between Dolphins and Knights, but unlikely, Raiders to win, 1-12. Alrighty guys, and that next game kicking off at 5.30pm, which is... From a core stadium once again, so two games out of core stadium for this weekend. We have the fifth place Canary Bankstown Bulldogs taking place against the sixth place North Queensland Cowboys. And the winner of this game will get a home final coming finishing in fifth place. So they cannot make the top four. Top four is already um official. But whoever wins will get a home final. And depending on Manly Sharks, yeah, the loser losing team could get the other home final, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, last week, the cow the Cowboys went on to beat the Storm in a high-scoring game against a B-level Storm side. Obviously, they conceded 30, which is not good, but they still went on to win 38-30. As for the Dogs, well, they finally lost at home this year. They won 10 straight home games this year. They have finally lost. They lost to the Sea Eagles 34-22. Last Friday night at 6 o'clock. And obviously, um, Stephen Crichton was suspended and Matt Burton is out for this game. So this one is going to be interesting. Because both sides, you got best defence against one of the best attack. But obviously, the dogs, um, Cowboys conceded 30 wasn't good. The Cowboys, sorry, wasn't good conceding 30. So, so, so was the dogs. They conceded 32. Last, up 34 last week, rather. Not good, but it should be an enjoyable game between the two. 
Now, at the moment, the dogs are the favourites at $1.71. Cowboys are at $2.14. In the past 10 games between the two, Cowboys have won six of the last 10, which includes winning the previous game between two earlier back in July. These Cowboys won that 20 points at 18 at Queensland Country Bank. So, in a real, really good game. And in the last time, and the last time these two played out a call, which was in 2023, Bulldogs won that one, 15 points to 14. So, in the past few games between two, it has been quite close. But, for this one, who gets the win? And who gets the home final officially in fifth place? For this one, I know the Dogs bounce off a loss, but I'm going to go to Cowboys for this one. You, I think... If they can do this like they did back in July, I reckon they can do it again. Cowboys to win by four points. Score, score line. Sorry about that, guys. I just sneeze. Um, for this game, Cowboys to win by four. Score line. I reckon it's going to be high scoring. 30-26. And try scorers for both. Cowboys, we're going to go Jack Clifford. And for Bulldogs, we're going to go Josh Adokar to score. So, Cowboys to win this one, 1-12. One and this will be a game I will be attending as well. So, this should be an enjoyable game. Cowboys, 1-12. Alright, now we move on to our final game of Super Saturday. The Snooze Fest game. Of course, I'm talking about fun. Blue Bet Stadium, the last time this, ga this venue will hold a game in the regular season. Possibly the finals, depending on how it goes this week. We have the second place Panthers taking place against the 14th place Gold Coast Titans. Titans got destroyed against the Knights last week. Titans got flogged last week by the Knights. And, but, yeah, by the Knights at McDonald Jones, losing 36 14. And as for the Panthers, well, they beat my boys 34 12 convincingly. And this will be the last time the Panthers will play a regular season game at Penrith before moving to the finals. As of next year, for next year, season or two, Panthers will be going to Combank as their stadium will be getting redeveloped and upgraded. And the Titans are going to be the sacrificial lamb for this game, no doubt. Now, at the moment, the Panthers are thirty, and Titans are $6.05. If you want, if you see an upset happening, well, get some money on it, I guess. In the past 10 games between the two, Panthers have had the wood over the Titans, winning 9 of the last 10, including winning the last 5 in a row. Last time the Titans won against the Panthers was in 2019. They won 30-24. And the last time they won at, um, Pem at Blue Bet was in 2016, where they won 28-24. For this game... Panthers 30 plus easily. Panthers by 30. Scoreline 52-22. Panthers want to go out on a high note for having the last regular season home game there. Yeah, scoreline 52-22. Try scorers, we're going to go Brian Toto. And for Titans, we will go Keanu Kingy. So, Panthers 30 plus. All right, now we move on to Sunday ticket. The first of our two games kicking off at 2 p.m., from Four Pines Park at the Manly Fortress, as they call it, we have the third place, sorry, the seventh place Manly Brewing Seagulls against the fourth place Cronulla Sharks in the only game between between them as the Battle of the Beaches. Quite an intense rivalry, these two are between the two, and it's, it's quite a shame it's only the last round they still are playing, which is annoying, but it is what it is, I guess. Sharks coming off a shocking loss to the Warriors, letting them come back to win 30-28 in Sean Johnson's final ever game. What a way for Sean Johnson to go out. A comeback game against his former club and winning in the last 30 seconds of the game. Obviously, he missed the... He missed his final goal, but it didn't matter. What a way for Sean Johnson to go out. And what a career he's had. One of the great players who has never won a premiership in his career. But we're all going to miss you, Sean Johnson. What a, what a role model, a leader, and what a player Sean Johnson was. What a hell of a career 
with the New Zealand Warriors and the Cronulla Sharks. Sean Johnson, we will all miss you, mate. All the best for your future. Anyways, Sharks lost by two points last week. As for Manly, they defeated the Bulldogs 34-22 out of call last week. And now, for this one, if Manly win and the Dogs lose, or if Cowboys lose, they will go in front of the losing team. And whoever loses between Dogs and Cowboys will fall to 7th. So, merely win. They will be guaranteed a home final. But if they lose, though, they will finish 7th. But we'll have to see how it goes. Anyways, the favourites at the moment. Manly are $1.81. And the Sharks are $2 for outsiders. In the past 10 games between the two, Manly have won 6 of the last 10. However, Sharks have won 3 of the last 4 games. Including winning... The last two games at Four Pines Park. Last time Manly won at Four Pines Park against the Sharks was in 2019, where they won 28-16. And as for my tip for this one, I will be um, tipping Manly for this one. They've only lost, I think, only one game at home this year, and that's quite oh one home one home game at the Four Pines Park this year, and quite impressive for what they've done this year. I'll go Manly to win this one, 1-12. One Manly win by 12, yes. I think it's going to be high scoring, 1-12 for Manly. Manly to win 34-22. So same as last week, I reckon. So as try scorers, we're going to go Daily Cherry Evans for Manly. And for the Sharks, we will go Jesse Ramian. He will return from suspension. And this will be my last game I will be attending this year. So I will be attending Manly Sharks. Rabbitohs Roosters and Bulldogs Cowboys this round. Three games. Um, three more games to go. What a round it's going to be. Be very exciting. Mainly to win 1 to 12. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We are on to the final game of 2024 in the regular season. From 4 o'clock from Newcastle, McDonald Jones St Stadium. We have the. We have. The game that's going to decide which of these two teams will finish in 8th place. We have the ninth place Newcastle Knights taking place against 8th place Dolphins. The Dolphins coming off an impressive win over their next door neighbour, the Brisbane Broncos in the Brisbane Derby. Winning 40 points to 6, finally getting their first win over Brisbane since their inclusion last year. And as for the Knights... Very impressive win over the Titans, winning 36-14 in there. Well, they've still got, they've still got um, one more home game, but still. Very good win over the Titans. Now, yes, like, just, like I just said, this game will decide the winner who will make the top eight. Or in the other scenario, if both of these teams go to a draw and the Raiders win, they will sink into the top eight. But I think it's going to be the first option because the draw of this scenario is very... Very unlikely, but we'll have to see. At the moment, the Dolph no, Knights are the favourites at dollar seventy-two, and the Dolphins are two dollars thirteen. Now these two have played um, three games between each other since the Dolphins' inclusion, with the Dolphins winning two of them. Oh, sorry, uh, Knights winning two of them. My apologies. However, Dolphins have got the only win over the Knights at McDonald Jones, which was their first game between the two at the start of two thousand twenty-three. Winning three six twenty. So for this last game of the season, my tip and the final team to make the top eight. I reckon it's going to be the Dolphins in a close game. Dolphins to win by two. Score line twenty four twenty two. And I reckon it's going to be a two point two point field goal field goal from Jermaine Osako. Dry scores for both. We're going to go to Hammer to score. And for the Knights, we'll go Ponga. What a game this is going to be. And what a game to round up an amazing 2024 NRL season with tie and lows. Dolphins to win, 1-12, and claim the 8th spot. And the top 8 will be sorted. And as for the Warriors, they got a win for them last week over the Sharks. 
Sean Johnson going out as a winner. What a career. I already said that. Warriors get the third and final bye. And they will finish 13th regardless. This They will finish in 13th in 2024. Anyways, guys. That's going to wrap up my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. And turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss out when I post a new video. What a round. It, what a final round this will be. Some of the games have got importance and got some stakes in it. I, only, I think only one or two games don't have anything in them. I think only the Melbourne-Brisbane game has got nothing in it. You could say that Rabbitohs Roosters as well has nothing in it, but it's a rivalry game. And the same can be said about Raiders-Dragons, but that's only going to happen if it's a draw in the last game. But anyways, guys, this will conclude my round, 24 tip, round 27 tip video and round 7 and RLW tips. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I'll see you all Friday night at a course stadium. Rabbitohs Roosters. Rabbits 13 plus. See you in the next one. Oh,